his nose here. What well, look, actually... Rats on his nose. What do you mean, rats on his nose? Well, well here's you know. what he means. Now, ordinarily, someone might think there's an element of violence which is created in my expression, but actually, my... In my, his expression. Now, hold your head still. Now, my finger actually winds around loosely, but in the speed it's done with. Like this finger thing here, I never go near the eyes. It's way up here. But in the speed of it, it looks like it is in the way he takes it. Now, with Joe, I may grab him by the ear and look like I'm twisting it. His expression of pain and mine of viciousness builds up to the point. But actually, I don't. I wouldn't hurt this he lad for expression. anything. Oh, no. He wouldn't hurt me. No. I might give him a little smack like that. Now, that Doesn't, didn't hurt. No. You see, we're on the picnic, and he's having it. Uh, yeah, he's having all the fun <laughs> demonstrating. It's a good one, Joe. When you are in public, I imagine most people expect you to be going around hitting everybody. But this is this is just your character, and you're eliminating this, and you still feel you can be funny and tell jokes and have fun and create situations well, without this. Just uh, one word. Uh, th there will be violence in the pictures, but it will be done in cartoon. Let's not call it violence. Well, there no, will no. be an element of, of slapstick movement. Fighting. Slapstick right. fighting. Oh, that's our identity. So mm -hmm. what what this is now, so we get I think we've confused myself and the audience. You fellows are going to host a new series of your cart of cartoons of the Stooges doing these things. Right. In animation, yes. And you will have situation comedies that you will reenact, right. but just funny incidents. Right. That's correct. A uh, comical one. Comical one. <laughs> you got it, Jack. Yeah, you I think it. I got it straight. I hope the audience has. Now, what about uh, some of the things in the past, since there were these wild things? Did any uh, of the scenes backfire on you? Did you ever have big I, mistakes? I did oh. want to explain one thing for Larry. Of course, I feel that I can explain this better because I was an onlooker at the time. In one sequence where there's some gangsters, incidentally, Lucille Ball was in that picture with she us. She was a gangster? No, no, no she was Gangsta's, gangsters Ma, yeah. they call it. At any rate, there was to be a fight between Larry on the close-up, he and another lad, a gangster. And in this scene, in preparing it, they measured off, and Larry stayed about two inches away from the limit of this man's fist. So and when his arm was fully that's extended... Right, Larry would take it. Now watch. See? Now... Larry's feet were marked off with chalk where he must stand, and so was this gangster's. And then they put our stand-ins in. He went and lit a cigarette, and nobody had noticed that Larry stepped about four inches forward of his mark. And when he let this go, show him your new tooth, Larry. <laughs> You're not kidding. Right out of his mouth. Knocked the tooth right out. I think it was his first teeth. <laughs> did you leave it in? Or did you cut it out? No, I guess that it was got cut out. It had to be cut out, the blood and everything. <laughs> <over that. laughs> and there were many uh, other instances that backfired, like uh, no. in a carpenter routine where uh, Curly Joe cut the table in half. He was cutting a board, but he cut the table at the same time. When I stepped to get the thing, the table collapsed and the ribs landed along the edge and a few of them were cracked. But not in my mind, not wanting to do the scene over, I, s I spoke my four lines and then passed out. <laughs> See? Well, you know, you guys certainly have had a lot of fun in, in your uh, your act and, and over the years. And I think there's a very interesting uh, analytical approach that you fellows have given to your success. Uh, you were telling me how you think that the public has accepted you and kids because you're cartoon characters. Yes. In fact, uh, one of my grandsons made mention of the fact when I asked him why he had shifted from Popeye to watching the Three Stooges. He said, well, we all like the Stooges better. And I said, why? He said, well... You do some of the things that Popeye does. You look like cartoons, but sometime we could get to shake hands with you. So you're real. It adds another dimension to your character. And that's correct. Well, gentlemen, I thank all thank of you. you. you are